Hello and welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I gave you a tour of my Solax inverter and solar battery installation. Well, today I'm gonna to talk about solar battery storage and whether it might or might not be good for you. Solar batteries are designed to work with solar panel systems. The idea being that when you've got excess energy that your home isn't using, you store that energy in these batteries to release at a later time of the day. They're kind of like the portable power banks you might take out with you when you go out for the day to charge your mobile phone, but they're in your house and they're charged using the solar panels. I'm gonna explain how the system works, what an inverter is, and how you could potentially save money as of December 2024. But first of all, let's talk about the cost. Solar batteries vary dependent on price, and the typical installation is around £5,000. There's no VAT at the moment, but that might change in 2027. You can, of course, get cheaper systems from around £1,500, but you generally get what you pay for, and you have to factor in installation as well. You'll also need an inverter. Now the inverter is a device that works between your solar panels, your home, and the grid system. The idea being the power comes in from the solar into the inverter in a DC current and is then converted from DC to AC, which is what your home uses. The inverter will prioritize using battery over the grid. So the power comes in from the solar and initially will go to your home any excess goes into the battery and charges the battery up. Once the battery is full, if there's still an excess, that goes back to the grid. Now, if you imagine you're getting 10 pence per kilowatt hour selling it to the grid, but you're buying it at 38 pence per kilowatt hour, obviously it makes sense to store the electricity in your own batteries to use later on rather than buying it from the grid. You also need to bear in mind that batteries typically only last between five and 12 years, whereas most solar panels nowadays have got a guarantee of around 25 years. So you will have to replace the batteries more frequently than you will have to replace solar panels. The inverter is what powers your appliances. It has three sources of energy, your solar, the grid, and your batteries. By default, any energy generated by your solar panels will first of all be used in your home, the excess then being used to charge the batteries up, and once the batteries are full, if your home's not using the energy, you then sell it back to the grid. However, if you're using something like a tumble dryer or a washing machine, chances are your solar system won't be able to power those devices alone, at which point it will then start to use the energy stored in your batteries. If the batteries are depleted, it then takes energy from the grid. So it prioritizes you using as much of your own generated and stored energy before you take it from the grid. And you can generally program the system for different times of the day, depending on your energy usage. Now, the energy created by your PV system will be a DC current. However, our homes are AC. So the inverter does just that. It converts the DC stored power from the batteries and the solar into AC, so you can then release that into your home. There are also electricity tariffs available where you get a cheaper rate overnight, but pay a slightly more expensive rate in the afternoon. That means that you can charge your batteries overnight, so they're ready in the morning for you to release that energy at the more expensive time of the day. Such an example would be octopus flux. As you can see from the graph, you pay less early hours in the morning, and you pay more later on in the afternoon when demand on the grid is higher. The idea being that the grid can balance the load and requirements of electricity used across the board. You might also want to consider that you may want to add batteries at a later date to increase your capacity. So try and bear this in mind if you decide to go ahead with them and make sure you allow for some extra space. That's why the loft was a good idea in my case. It's very difficult to quantify whether or not solar batteries will work for you. For example, if you're a single person who's at home most of the day, you probably won't get much benefit from battery usage. But if you're a larger family and you're at work or out of the house most days, then you probably will benefit from the batteries because you can store the energy you're not using when you're not at home to use when you are. According to the eco experts, you'll probably only save around £130 a year with the energy stored from your batteries. 
about £582 a year with batteries and panels. Solar batteries are a great way of maximising your energy usage. And not only that, but it also comes with the added advantage of helping the environment. Effectively, you're using the energy you generate rather than giving it back to the grid. Ultimately, if your aim is to save money by getting batteries installed, it might not work for you. Most installers will tell you that it will, but of course they've got a vested interest in selling you that system in the first place. So you need to look very carefully at the figures and decide whether or not it's right for you. However, however, with energy prices constantly rising and the cost of the battery technology reducing, it may well be something you need to look into. I've had these batteries installed now for just over a year. I've got a 12 kilowatt system and I did the figures in a previous video and I saved just over a thousand pounds year on year with a solar PV and battery storage installed. But make sure you do your homework and make sure that it's right for you. As always, thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about how the feeding tariff might be coming to an end.